hello i'm dr dwar and welcome you in the third video of the understanding ecg video lecture series our this video will be about the cardiac axis in the previous videos we have studied about the ecg basics and calculation of the heart rate and rhythm from an ecg strip and this video will be about the cardiac axis cardiac axis is actually it describes the overall direction of electrical spreads within the heart in a healthy individual the axis should spread from 11 o'clock to 5 o'clock position to figure out the cardiac axis you need to look at the qrx complexes of lead 1 and lead 3 okay so it is the qrx complexes of lead 1 and lead 3 which will tell us about the cardiac axis to find out the cardiac axis from NCG strip it is very important to look at the lead 1 and lead 3 but for this to make it further easy there is the rule of thumbs okay in rule of thumb you will put your left thumb on lead 1 and right thumb on lead 3 you will put on lead 1 your left thumb in the direction of prominent deflection and right thumb on lead 3 in the direction of prominent deflection okay so if you will put in the direction of prominent deflection your thumb on lead 1 and lead 3 if both the thumbs become up as i have shown in this case in this very ecg prominent deflection in lead 1 is positive and lead 3 as well is positive so this is the normal cardiac axis okay this is also uh, you will just forget about everything you will have to look only on lead 1 and lead 3 the qrs complexes of lead 1 and lead 3 put the thumbs up it means you have normal cardiac axis okay so uh, very simple not that much difficult uh, uh, just try to understand the case left axis deviation in left axis deviation there is prominent positive deflection in lead 1 and negative deflection in lead 3 there will be positive deflection in lead 1 and negative deflection in lead 3 just again i am telling you put your fingers on lead left thumb on lead 1 and right thumb on lead 3 in the direction of prominent deflection in this case you will find that your left thumb will be up and right thumb will be down so if left thumb is up it means that it is having left axis deviation okay left axis deviation we'll go towards the uh, right axis deviation in right axis deviation the prominent deflection there will be prominent deflection positive deflection in lead 3 and negative deflection in lead 1 again we will put our left thumb on lead 1 and right thumb on lead 3 in the direction of prominent deflection in this case our right thumb will be up and left thumb will be down so th this will be uh, about uh, in this case it is the right axis deviation okay very simple again i am repeating the same sentences we will put our left thumb on lead 1 and right thumb on lead 3 if both the thumb our both thumbs will be up what will be the case very simple both the thumbs is up it means it is co normal cardiac axis again there is another strip we have put our uh, left thumb on lead one and right thumb and lead three in this case our left thumb is up and right thumb is down in this case it will be left axis deviation if our right thumb is up and left thumb is down it is right axis deviation okay now we are having some uh, another slide which in which we will uh, go through that uh, the causes which causes the left axis deviation and right axis deviation left axis deviation can be of normal variation it can be due to mechanical shift from expiration ascites abdominal tumors high diaphragm from pregnancy obesity you should uh, learn this uh, simple four or three left interior hemiblock can cause left axis deviation remember left interior left bundle branch block causes left axis deviation wolf parkinson white syndrome can cause hyperkalemia and left ventricular hypertrophy in the right same mechanical shift from inspiration in this case it is inspiration emphysema can cause right axis deviation 
right ventricular hypertrophy can cause right axis deviation right bundle branch block left posterior hemi block wolf parkinson white syndrome and pulmonary embolism can also cause right axis deviation and in same case arrhythmia can cause right axis deviation this was all about uh, cardiac axis uh, thanks for watching we'll see you in the next videos thanks